It's just a bit much. I feel like when it comes to like the scam, scam, I'm just waiting for the person that actually has been scammed to say that they are on. How does it say it's off? Oh, they're off. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't even know that. Well, to be fair, I'd rather leave it off because I just want to actually just speak my piece without any interruptions. Cool. No. Oh, sorry. Only people that can comment is people that I follow. That's what it is. Oh. Yeah, so that's... Like, this is what I've had to do. Like, I've had to deal <coughs> with my comments on my Instagram. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, all these little things that I should, would never even have to do because I'm literally just getting bombarded with messages. Like, I, I, it's, to me, it's just shocking how one situation with one of my clients can <coughs> literally turn that like, and makes it like everyone against me like this is a bit crazy but yeah um i don't know if you guys are trying to comment but you can't i'll just turn it off just for my own sake peace do you know what i mean like it's just as much and it's like for also just for other situations that have happened it's like the way it's all addressed, you think it all happened this month or this week. Like, this is things that happened maybe ages ago. Even some stories are just somewhat fabricated or somewhat twisted. It's like, I, in these situations, I've given everyone an alternative. Or, or, for example, I'm sick in hospital. That, again, my fault. Like, if I'm sick, I couldn't get her wig. I should have made sure that she couldn't get the wig that day. That, that, that. There's little things that I can take accountability for. I'm not going to sit here and say and blame my clients. I will never put blame <coughs> on to any of my clients. Like, I'm not going to do that. I understand that like, everyone likes getting their hair done. If they can't get their hair done one day, you're going to be upset. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know how it is. I've gone to get my hair done. I've got cancer. I've got, gone to get my lashes done. I've got cancer. Like, it's not a nice feeling. I understand that. But even down to like my health, like, I feel like, I know you guys think, oh, everyone says this health comes first. Oh, why is she always sick? Everyone's always sick. Like, you know, the funniest thing is no one knows my health state. Like, no one knows if I'm in and out of hospital. Like, it's little things like that. Like, you guys know nothing about me personally. Like, if I'm in hospital, why is it so hard to believe? Because I'm in hospital, but oh, because you take a holiday, you can't be in hospital. And next week, like, it's just like... It's a bit much on that end. And then just all the scamming things, like... Mm -hmm. I'm not a scammer. I had my friend already even speak on it, because, yes, it is MK Hair Collection, so, of course, it's going to come back to my name, but put it this way, like, I'm, I don't really ever really run anything that goes on it. So, yeah, I had it in my friend's hand. She's even taken accountability for where she's went wrong, but it's just, like, obviously, because it's MK, and I'm MK, it's attached right to me do you know what i mean and obviously that's probably that's my downfall for even letting someone run my business and do you know what i mean and not even checking on it myself so that's also something i will make sure i improve on because i you know like it's me that's getting thrown through the mud it's not whoever's it's not whoever's committing i mean it's not whoever's sending out the hair that's getting dragged it's me like it's under my name so yeah but anyways just in that situation like anyone that's ever received an order from what I've been told, from the person that sends out the orders, so the only thing there may be is delays, which I can apologise for as well, because although I, I wasn't sending it out, it's my business. I take accountability for anything if it's my business. Like, I hold MK, Lace at a very high pedestal, so obviously I just don't want this to be like, as you guys say, oh, MK doing the like, this is her downfall and stuff. Yeah, like, it's just, like, it's a bit disheartening, isn't it? But it's only gonna... It's only up from here, guys. Like, it doesn't make me want to stop doing hair. Like, it only keeps me wanting to do bigger and better. Improve as well, for sure. Because I'm not one to be called a wicked person. If you ever meet, I'm literally so nice, like... You guys are bullies as well. Yeah, my friend also wants to say something, but I don't know. Yeah, like, it's crazy. I feel like... I could have came to you, like... All these little clients, they think they know, da da da, well she did that, she did that. is not my character. You would never catch me as an ally. I don't ally that. No, it's just not me. It's not the brand. It's not the brand. It's not the brand. Although the brand may look a certain way on TikTok right now. But that's not MK. It's not my brand. Misha wasn't even going to go on live. Yeah, these guys pressured me to go on live. Because this is her business and her business was on the Yeah, phone. and it literally looks like I've been avoiding it, like I've been running away from it. I've, I've done yeah, my clients the same today. Yeah, this is literally to address your customers. Like, yeah, this is just my clients and everything. Your, your like, that's not your character. That's not... Yeah, your because brand. it's the things like, like Wicked, like, 
I'm really yeah, not I'm wicked. Like, like this word like that. Like, what? You must think you know her birthday. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I don't think yeah. MK Lisa loves to cancel birthdays. Like, God did not wake me up and say, "Ill, it is this guy's birthday at one pm today." That like, oh I don't God. know if it's you guys' birthday or not. And even <coughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, and I'm not even saying that's an excuse to cancel people or da da da. But I always say my health will always come first. Hundred percent always come first. I'm and not going to be well. snotty nosed tissued around my client. It's not happening. Because you're not going to go on TikTok and say, I'm disgusted. Exactly. And I put my snotty hands in your hair. Exactly. I can't win. Like, you can't win with the people of TikTok. Just put it that way. Because I feel like that's the main problem here. Is the people of TikTok. Hello, loves, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, London TikTok is currently on fire, mainly because of one hairstylist and hair vendor called MK Laced It, mainly because of the lack of accountability from her part, lack of communication, as well as the professionalism you got. Now, clients have revealed that she is not at all punctual and can switch up on the client's last minute. So, for example, the examples that clients were giving is that they would be booked for a 12 p.m. appointment and she will not pick up calls and then later at 3 p.m. will then cancel that particular appointment she doesn't not even give you a refund you guys now of course when she actually responds some clients have revealed that she's very rude she does not take into consideration your emotions and the money that you have spent guys let's just face it wigs are quite expensive nowadays so anyways you guys as as you heard from the first video which i inserted she's basically denying all those allegations which have been leveled up against her and she's saying these are literally fabricated but there's just way too many people that are coming up and actually showing us evidence that she's quite rude and these are things that she has done i don't think that hundreds and hundreds of people would come against somebody and lie about such a thing you guys so up next i'll just insert one client who has a lot of evidence on her so in the meantime please do make sure to just engage me down on the comment section like this video and you'll stay safe when you guys are actually booking appointments with your mk laced it bye so i've like been waiting for these girls to get exposed because I have a few things I want to say as well. My, f I wasn't going to do this until my friends told me to. So, so I ordered hair from their MK Laced It collection page. Well, a fun tool, a HD fun tool. And look how quick she is to send me her bank deeds. Like, <laughs> look. look, the first thing she sends is her bank deeds. And then she says, oh, shipping will be five to seven work days. Not even working days, days okay so i send the money and she says that i'll be updated on my shipping <laughs> updated on my shipping was I updated no i did this so early before my a-level exam started because i didn't want it to interfere with my a-level exams i didn't want to be thinking about it so that's why i wanted it to come literally before my exam started which was the 7th of june um why why am i messaging you on the 6th of june i've not heard anything back from you since the 29th of may after I sent the money, that's when the communication went downhill. She was no longer replying to my messages quick. She wasn't updating me on nothing. And you know what's crazy? This girl was still posting and going on TikTok live. And I'm seeing people say, you haven't sent out my hair. You haven't sent this out. And this girl would be like, oh, 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 I'll send it the next day. I'll send it the next day. Which is what she said at the bottom here. Hi, I will send your tracking the next, tracking the next day delivery tomorrow, babe. But I ordered it on the 29th of May. Why are you telling me you're going to send it eight days later? So you're telling me as soon as I sent the money, you forgot about the service I paid for. Is that what you're trying to tell me? So you hadn't even sent the hair out. You hadn't even done nothing. I'm just like, okay, thank you. Two days later, I heard nothing from this girl. She didn't even send me tracking. Like, why am I having to tell a businesswoman to send her clients tracking? Someone orders something for you, for me, and you don't even send the tracking number. You don't send them nothing. You don't update them. Don't let them know what's going on. And it's past the shipping time. I'm supposed to have received the frontal by now. I'm even sending you another paragraph. Hey, hope you're well. Mm -mm, I should not even have to be doing that. It's a business. Why am I saying hope? I was just trying to be nice. I just wanted my frontal. So we get another, um, hi, sorry, hi, sorry, hi, so Eddie, hi, sorry, like, just send me my frontal, like, she said she's gonna send me tracking, she still didn't send me tracking 11th of June, guys, I ordered this on the 
29th of May. It's 11th of June. This is past. This is more than 11 days. And you tell me seven days shipping, like maximum. And I'm, I'm begging this girl. I'm messaging this. I'm disturbing this girl for something I paid for. Why am I begging for something I paid for? Hey, can I please get tracking? I'm like two days later, three days later. Like, bro, bear in mind, I've booked a hair appointment already. So I really need the hair to come in time. My problem was that she lied to me about when she was going to ship it and then she was ignoring my messages, like... Yeah, I got the frontal, but was it worth it? No. And I'll tell you what. So I got my hair installed and then this started happening. So I got the hair installed, took it to prom, everything, and I took the hair out, like, after two, three weeks. Um, I didn't wear the wig. I was waiting for my hair to get reinstalled again because I really don't know how to install wigs properly. And the girl that reinstalled my wig later in September when I started uni, I think October actually, late in October, bear in mind I hadn't worn this wig um, since summer. This, she wants to give me a middle part in and she sees this. Then there's this and this so obviously i can't do a middle part in my thing is why is a hd lace shedding like this and i've only installed it once this is my second time installing it and i can't even use it obviously i messaged her straight after that hair appointment and i showed her no reply on her business page then i go and message both of the girls on their public pages because they're posting the other girl that her name starts with an m she didn't reply when I, when I messaged her on her public account or her personal account, Instagram account, she didn't reply. But this girl replied two days after, and this is what she said. You guys can pause it and read it. My thing is, I don't know too much about HD laces, but the girl that did my hair, she said that it shouldn't be shedding like this because she's had an H a HD lace and it's lost her for well over like the amount of time that I've had it and I, I, I've only installed it once that's the crazy thing she's trying to say that the girl who did my hair over bleached it as you can see in the other video it was not over bleached it was perfect like there was nothing wrong with it I'd taken the wig out and checked the wig nothing was wrong with it like after she installed it and she was saying there's nothing she can do because da, 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 da. but because I hadn't noticed it until the girl that did my hair the second time saw it i just couldn't be bothered at this point i just left it but guys i got this hd lace from i forgot where i got it from but it's from aliexpress and it's so much better so much better look at this so much better i'm sorry just don't get hair from these girls that's it